holy shit, that's BS hacks. You're relying on hacks to win. Hell yes, I'm relying on hacks to fucking win the game. Hey, Pokemon Bit Beta, it's Gator with the fourth gen overused match um, against Cheese by myself. Make sure to like it and comment. If you don't like it, of course, fuck, fuck off. Don't like it. Dislike it. Hit that dislike button. Dragonite lead, Azelf lead. I go into T-Tar. I am a banded Dragonite. I do not want to reveal that yet. So he's going to set up his rocks. Um, I did I did go into Azelf to break its sash, thinking it was a sash Azelf. But me forgetting that this is 4th gen and that some Azelfs are holding the Cobra Berry for Machamp leads, which are ever so common in 4th gen. He's going to take that crunch and you turn out and get some decent damage on my Tyranitar. Which, is, of course, is not good, because I made a bad play. So now he's going to go into Jirachi, and I'm thinking Scarf. So I'm actually going to go back into my lead, Bat Country Glissor. And this Glissor right here, man, Sandvale Glissor. I am sorry, but Sandvale Glissor is better than Poison Heal. I will show you why later in this match. Of course, this is a fourth gen. There's no Poison Heal Glissor. But I will show you why. This is opinion, of course, but... uh. He went for U-turn, so I'm thinking it's Scarf. And I'm going to get my rocks up right now. Because he has rocks up. I don't have rocks up. And if we're going to be switching a lot, I want us both taking damage. I'm not going to be the only one taking damage here on the switch. Since Stealth Rocks, of course, are consistent. Well, you know, you know it does. There's not a point in really explaining what Stealth Rocks do. But he goes for a Grass Knot. And seeing that did, like, nothing. I'm going to think this is a defensive Celebi. You know, 252, 220 bold, or whatever. So I'm going to go into Dragonite, and I make a really bad play, and he T-waves me. Now, I didn't want to roost and eat a Grass Knot. That would be super effective. So I went into Dragonite, thinking I'd be able to resist. But he actually goes for the T-wave, which is a really good prediction on his part. And now I'm going to go... <clears throat> I'm going to go for the Fire Punch here. But I got paralyzed. Now, I didn't want to go for an Outrage, because I know he has Jirachi. And, of course, locking yourself in Outrage when you know the opponent has a Steel-type is horrid. And I actually went for Fire Punch again, thinking he might want to U-turn, predicting my Extreme Speed or something. I mean, not U-turn, but, um, I didn't want to go, I didn't want an Extreme Speed, because if Azelf would die, but he'd be able to go into Jirachi safely and make some crazy move, you know, go for U-turn again, get um, Switch Advantage and all that fun stuff. So he's going to go in Infernape, I'm going to go into Flygon, I am a Scarf Flygon, actually I'm not a Scarf Flygon, I'm sorry. I have no, I'm a no item Flygon, my item be gone. That was the lamest fucking joke I've ever heard, why'd I say that? But um, he's going to go for the Banded Close Combat, and obliterate my Flygon, so my Flygon be, I'm not going to say that again. I'm not, <laughs> my Flygon be gone. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to go into Glissor because I resist, and this close combat acts like I don't resist it, because that does a shit ton, but I am going to be able to get that roost off, I didn't go for EQ, because I'm on my health, because I know he has that Jirachi, and if he is Scarf, and he locks himself in the Iron Head, we might be playing that flinch game, and I don't want to be on the short end of the stick with that, so he is going to switch now, now I was thinking he's switching to Celebi, because he did that earlier against my Glissor, which he does do. So I'm actually going to make a try-hard prediction right here, even though I don't like trying that hard, usually. I made a try-hard prediction going to Scizor. And I know Celebes, defensive Celebes, sometimes carry HP Fire, but I know that defensive Celebi cannot win a KO Scizor with HP Fire, even if Stealth Rocks are on the field. But he has Earth Power, I'm guessing for Heatran mainly. So I'm able to take that Earth Power, and I don't go for Pursuit, going straight for the U-turn. Even if you switch, keep some of it momentum on my side of the field because I really need the momentum but he will get switch advantage because he'd be dead and I'm going to go into my lead because of course I would go into Flygon but Flygon's dead so I'm going to go into my lead and now I think he goes into Kingdra if he doesn't go into Kingdra I'm going to feel stupid shit he goes into Jolteon now I just well you saw it in the beginning of the match he had the Kingdra but well, he goes into Jolteon. Now I'm going to go into Tyranitar expecting a hidden power ice. But 
he goes for hidden power and it hurts. It hurts my Tyranitar. So that's definitely hidden power grass. And I, I don't even think he knew he had hidden power grass. But it ends up working out for him because of course Jolteon is way too fast for Scarftar. Scarftar cannot outspeed base 130. <laughs> and he's gonna be able to kill my Tyranitar. Now, I did not see Life Orb recoil, and I don't see lefties, so I'm assuming it's choice specs. So I'm going to go into Jirachi, which resists HP grass, of course, and I'm going to go for the Psychic, predicting his Infernape switch. That's not going to happen. He's going to go into his own Jirachi. But this is also good because now I can tell his Jirachi is not Scarf, because soon enough here you'll see it has lefties, which is good because Glissor will outspeed it. Because I outspeed his Jirachi, and I don't. Well, actually, I run two fifty. I run two forty five speed. Because Smogon always uh, talks about this two forty four. You have to hit two forty four, and all these Pokemon have EVs to two forty four. I always run two forty five. So maybe two forty six for two forty fivers. <laughs> I don't. Know. But uh, I'm gonna set up a calm mind. He's trying to get the Parahacks on me, and I really wanted him to get the Parahacks when he went for the Body Slam, because that means he'd be faster, and if he U-turned out, I could hit something on the switch with a Psychic, but since uh, I am faster due to my own EVing of this Jirachi, it's going to cost me to switch out my plus two Jirachi, because he brings in his Bandit Infernape, which is a pain to deal with. I'm going to switch, I'm going to go into Glissor, and thankfully he didn't Flare Blitz. If he would have Flare Blitz, that probably would have been the game for the most part, because I needed this Glissor bad. For his Jirachi mainly. So he's going to go into Jolteon. Now, I think I talked about how Sandville Glissor was a monster. This is why. Of course, we all know Sandville raises evasion. So, every move against Glissor has a chance to miss. Now, like, holy shit, that's BS hacks. You're relying on hacks to win. Hell yes, I'm relying on hacks to fucking win the game. Um, people use Jirachi, right? I mean, Jirachi is a hacks machine, basically. Why can't Glissor be a hacks machine? Look at missing two Shadow Balls. Of course those misses matter, because this is a Specs Jolteon. But I'm not going to complain, because hacks is hacks. People rely sometimes just on hacks alone. Uh, I love Sandvale Glissor, especially in 5th Gen. I think of it as Garchomp's younger brother, if you want to say it like that. But um, he brings out Kingdra, and I go for the Taunt, thinking he's um, Resto Chesto Dragon Dancer. But he's actually lefties, so that's different. It might be sub DD or something. But here's just a random fact. I just remember this. Um, no, he's going to go for the waterfall. And I have 220 bold um, Eevees. Uh, Rotom Wash versus Glissor, or Hydro Pump versus Glissor. You have a 43% chance to hit two Hydro Pumps in a row. So the sub Swords Dance set that is listed on Smogon is ridiculous if you bring in Rotom Wash. A lot of people bring in Rotom Wash on a freaking Glissor in 5th gen. I know this is 4th gen, but it's still relative to Glissor. You will get popped because Acrobatics is coming your way with the Flight Gem and you will be scared when your Rotom Wash dies because believe me, Glissor has the power and the bulk and the hacks to sweep your team if you're not prepared for it. And a lot of people are starting to realize that and I'm glad. Because I've seen a couple of Hidden Power Ice Fortresses and other random crap. But um, basically all that happened here was, he's trying to get the Waterfall Flinch, I'm trying to get the T-Bolt um, Paralysis. None of that happens, and I just kill off his Kingdra with a Psychic. What the hell is that noise? Shut up. Er, sorry, that was really unprofessional. I apologize for my unprofessionalism. But uh, yeah, he goes for Waterfall, it's not going to kill me. I'm going to go for Psychic, because this one's actually stabbed, so it will kill his Kingdra. Hoping for the Parahax, but didn't get it. But um, this Jirachi's able to stand strong against that Kingdra, which is nice. <clears throat> Same veil goes for. But uh, he brings in Infernape, and Choice Band and Infernape, too powerful. Flare Blitz, of course, is going to KO Jirachi. Even if it was at full health, it's still KO Jirachi. Now, I have Glissor and Scizor left, if you forgot, and he has Infernape and Jirachi left. Now, I go into Scizor to kill off his Infernape with the Bullet Punch. Psych! 
It's not gonna happen. This is not gonna happen. Predicted. I sound retarded. I'm sorry. I'm I sounding uh. I'm me sounding retarded. Yeah. But uh, going for the U-turn, and that's amazing. Man, that was so try hard. Actually, that wasn't trying hard. That was just like fuck it. Because honestly, if you think about it this way, um, flare blitz. I think I'm not 100 percent sure. I think with flare blitz recoil and sandstorm, it might have died. I'm not 100 percent sure on that. That's why I went for the U-turn. If it doesn't, if it didn't kill, I would have lost a match if you went for the flare blitz again, pretty much. Unless sand veg You know, it can miss. But uh, I'm gonna go for the EQ. It's not gonna kill. He's gonna go for the body slam. No para, thankfully. Even though it didn't really matter. But, uh, yeah. Sandvale Glissor pulling through. If this Glissor would have died to that Jolteon, I would have lost. So I'm going to finish off his Jirachi with an Earthquake. Because Jirachi's too bulky to die to one Earthquake at half health. And lastly, he has his Choice Banded Nape. And he's going to show me the raw power of Infernape with Flare Blitz and 1 KO the shit out of my Glissor. I am sorry if I am very unprofessional in my narrations, but I'm not the type of person that likes to be professional. I see Pokemon as a fun game. You just mess around in it and have fun. I mean, hey, Sandvale Glissor. That's all it's about, Sandvale Glissor. Pack that on your sand team, and you are ready. You are ready to destroy Sandvale Glissor. Remember, that's going to be the end of the battle. Uh, if you don't like Sandvale Glissor, I'm sorry. But, uh, it's going to be 1-0, and it's Gator. I'll see you guys next time.